Hello. Hello. Uh, we're mm. in the old court uh, by the lake with a nice bridge behind us. We've just finished a little uh, ice cream each, which said it was coconut milk. It seemed uh, like coconut milk. We think it was coconut milk. And this is what we're here to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd like to talk a little bit about trying to be vegan and travelling which has its ups and downs. Um, I don't think we've really managed to be vegan and travel. We've yeah, I don't think we could say that we were vegan, no. but we're doing... Um, we're, trying to, we're trying to be. Yeah, I mean, the reason I think you hesitated over we're doing our best is because like, we obviously couldn't go around asking everyone what's in everything. Well, but you could try to. But a language barrier. Yeah just it being a bit rude and awkward. And them not even having any concept yeah. of the right. idea. Uh, it's just not realistic to be completely on it. On it. <laughs> anyway, I think, well, let's first off, let's talk about India. India was very, very, very good for a vegetarian. A good percentage of the population in India are vegetarian. Even on like getting meals on trains, like they'll come round and they ask you meat or veg and you don't understand the meat word but you understand veg and you just say veg and they yeah. give you a vegetarian meal. And the language was but it's only vegetarian. okay to say that there, like they understood vegetable or most veg. of the time. Yeah. And most menus had veg something or other written in it in and English. Most of the time, it would be, it wouldn't have egg in it. We had the odd one that ended up, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> low battery. Had, low battery, low battery. Uh, <laughs> we'll pick it up on Robin's phone. Uh, yeah, so some things, occasionally we ended up with paneer, which is like a sort of spongy Greek fettery type cheese unfermented cheese that we just sort of pushed to the side and, and didn't eat uh, so the may and we didn't really come across much egg like we didn't pick it on the menu obviously and avoided it and we didn't come up against it when we didn't want it I don't remember seeing it apart from omelettes they like yeah. omelettes so the main problem was would have been butter which we didn't know about like I'm sure it was there it was probably there in most things, yeah. or a lot of things at least. Uh, but we don't know, and there was no way of finding out, and there was definitely no way of not having it. Um, don't feel like... Well, in India, digestion isn't the easiest of things, and that could just be curry, like, 24-7, but I also think it was probably like butter in your food that we're used to being completely vegan and yeah by the time we left we were like oh, I just just want to be vegan and eat some vegetables and, like yeah anyway. yeah but I mean, well I really enjoyed the food like, yeah maybe because it was laden with butter but <laughs> <laughs> it was tasty <laughs> um, <coughs> Anyway, so then our first uh, bit of worry was at Bangkok Airport mm -hmm. trying to get some vegetarian food, which was really, really difficult. Like, there was probably a hundred restaurants in the place, and there was probably about five vegetarian dishes over about three different restaurants. Mm. One of which was Burger King, yeah. Veggie Burger. We managed to get some, we managed to get some noodles anyway, but right. doesn't uh, doesn't seem optimistic for Thailand if we go. Um, and here in Hanoi, it's been okay. Like we tend to have to go to places that have got an English translation of the menu. Um, like which tend to be not touristy, like. They're still local places and run by locals, uh, but they're 
like trying to make it easy as easy for tourists with having translations and stuff which is a bit frustrating because when we traveled before in South America we would seek out deliberately the cheapest meal which we wouldn't have to do now but we would just pick some random spot if we weren't vegan now we would just pick a random spot and sit down and just point at something or eat whatever they put in front of us yeah and it's enjoyable to like push yourself to go to the places that aren't catered for tourists yeah right? and to be in a different culture and surrounded by the locals and it does like it pinches to not be able to do that very easily um, so if we are somewhere where we're not sure if they're grasping the idea that we just want to eat vegetables we've got this little note which says it's backwards here uh, it says anyway. I'm vegetarian at the top and no meat on the second line and we need to add no egg they don't really to seem to have cheese very much vegetables. oh yeah we just wanted. vegetables <laughs> like today we managed to have a ban me the baguette things they normally come with meat and cheese and egg and like vegetables in it and we just want the vegetables and we told her like we got it through to the lady like we just want the vegetables and then she said she spoke a little bit of english and she said uh, do you want egg it's the same price and we're like no we just vegetables yeah they found it pretty amusing that we just wanted vegetables I also kind of find here that I'm not really getting filled up, like I'm a big eater and I'm finishing the food and walking away and I'm saying I'm still hungry, I need to eat again. Mm. Which like, we've just been constantly on the hunt for We food. have, but to be fair, I mean most, of, we've had some noodles and some rice and stuff, but a lot of the food, or we've had a few meals that have been a baguette with some veg well with some salad in it which is like a really basic salad sandwich like doesn't touch the sides mm. <laughs> um, mm, what else are you going to say oh, there was something else I was going to say but I've forgotten Australia was oh sorry I remembered uh, like it is funny though that in this city and I presume in other cities in Thailand there are actually vegan restaurants oh, and yeah. cafes we've managed to go to one last night and we've seen a couple others obviously completely catering for tourists but yeah. they, they are there although apparently anywhere that Buddhists eat um, they quite commonly have mock meat in them for the Buddhists but apparently the Buddhists are also they're vegetarian and I didn't fully read a description anywhere but it said they're vegetarian and like largely vegan so I don't know mm. what they don't have well what they do have yeah that's not vegan sorry but, so what are you gonna say about uh, Australia was really good Melbourne was ridiculous like yeah we lived a short walk from a vegan super well from a vegan supermarket and an organic supermarket and but, lots of vegan restaurants yeah. and vegan delis and we discovered, the best thing I think we discovered in Australia was Ethiopian food. Oh, Ethiopian is, food. Like, got a huge range of vegan dishes and lovely Ryan and Rachel, you want to look pancakes. that one <laughs> Like, how have we missed Ethiopian food all our lives? Yeah, it's really, like, really good. Super tasty. Um, we did have some challenges in Australia and New Zealand. Social challenges that we dealt with, uh, well the first one was right at the beginning of when we were vegan and in Australia and we've had a few slips at the beginning and we've socially found that we've needed to not be strict in New Zealand which was really right. I didn't like it and I wouldn't want to do it again really um, but we hadn't arranged the situation yeah when, fully. when we went to stay with our friend in New Zealand we hadn't mentioned it until we were with her anything about our diet so then it was then kind, of kind of too late she asked if we were vegetarian we said yeah. yeah and then we were just trying to do our best to avoid anything that wasn't vegan but we had to have a few little bits. Mm. 
Um, and there was one instance here of a spring roll which could potentially have been vegetarian and had we ordered it vegetarian yeah. and I looked at it and didn't fancy it and Robin wanted to check had a little nibble of some lovely pork spring roll <laughs> it's yeah. pretty grim but anyway anyway we know we know for next time got to make sure and the really frustrating thing about this country is the food is ridiculously good and all of it could be done vegan like really looking forward to getting at home and like making all this stuff they're like they're just putting meat and cheese and egg in everything it doesn't need it like it's just amazing food without it yeah. and we just want them to make it for us without all the rubbish in yeah anyway so we'll give you an update later in the trip to see how it's going past Hanoi bye bye